just paid three hundred dollars to look like a Karen. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice. Let me speak to your manager. <laughs> hey, bitch, you know what I came to do? What I came to do? Hey, bitch, you know the move. What up, YouTube? It's your boy TG. Go and make all stop. You already know we rock. On tree, and we back with another banger. You already know we finna get into these Karens must be stopped. The Karens must be stopped. Before we get into the video, you already know what y'all need to do: smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's get into it. Insane Karen moments to be uploaded to the internet this week. Let's get stuck in. This is what a young Karen would sound like as a school teacher. What would you do in this situation? Leave a comment. God damn. Do I have to tell you this every single I need to see those planners? Where are your planners? I love you. Put on your desks now. Where are your planners? Where are your planners? She walking around like she the principal. She got a whistle and shit. Get the class. She major pain, ain't she? She doing too much. This Ken thinks his one tweet on Twitter will be the downfall of this bank. His problems are not theirs. Every Karen fails to understand that. That's not customer service when somebody lives 130 miles away. Well, we can take you to your cashier's check. I know. I, I tell you, when I walk out of this damn bank, I'm going to get on Twitter. I'm going to blast the hell out of JP Morgan for not taking cash at a bank. That's the most stupid thing I've ever heard. I'm going to Twitter and you're going to get shut down, bruh. Cut it out with the shenanigans. Do I feel that way? That's crazy. It's crazy. Somebody walks in the customer and gets cash, and you won't take it. You and you won't make an exception. Lady, I don't care who the f you call. This is ridiculous not to take cash on the, uh, It is Chase. It's not me personally. I appreciate you not yelling at me like that. It's yeah, but, but you have the ability to do customer service. This can who is supposedly an undercover cop driving an unmarked cop car makes a big deal over construction workers just doing their job. I came over to have a conversation with him and we fixed it. Now you're over here causing more of a problem. I told him he had an attitude. I said, you had an attitude. You are totally... I need a supervisor for you. He is upset. You choose your battles wisely, you fellas. Already, you've already lied to me. You said you was falling out of there. No, you're not going to be right here on the turn lane. You can line sack it. These guys caught a calm Karen stealing from their backpack. She barely confessed and didn't apologize at all for it. Karen should really be criminal title at this point. You don't take, you don't, no, no, you took, you went into someone's backpack and took money out of it. She gave the money back. I'm like, shit, nigga, I did what I did. Fuck out of here, nigga. You lucky I got caught. What's your name? No, what's your name? No. You don't have to be an honest person for once. You can't just go into someone's backpack. Okay, I gave you back. Did you say sorry? Yeah, I'm not telling you my name. Why? Well, I didn't say that. You just stole my money. Yeah, you can't do that. No, no, no. I'm not telling you my You're still a scum person for stealing. You just got caught. What if we didn't catch you? What if we're two minutes later? What'd you do? Walk away with it? No, you can't just take go into someone's backpack and take their cash. I wouldn't open the door for this Karen at all if I were the homeowner. This looks like a horror movie scene. Is something yes. wrong? This lady look crazy. Oh, can you tell me where to open, open the door? Open the door? Bitch, I ain't gonna open my shit. Fuck you, lady. I really don't want to open the door. Um, and let you calm down. She mad in the mouth. Open the door. Bitch, no. Who are you to tell me what to do with my shit? Can you just tell me if something went wrong or if yes. something happened? I'm not aware. There is something wrong. This one isn't actually a Karen, but her hairstylist gave her the Karen hairstyle by mistake. I just paid $300 to look like a Karen. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice. Let me speak 
to your manager. <laughs> Ain't it damn shorty focus look? She is crying cause she hurt her fucking Yo no, yo that shit funny. I like, like to speak to your manager. <laughs> I cannot comprehend what this Karen is talking about. She's just oh constantly God, saying so anything that first comes to her vacant fun. mind to intimidate this person. I'm gonna show them all the legal records. I'm gonna show them how poorly you are as the president. Good. Now, if you do what? not let me get that water turned off in 24 hours, I am going to court as an emergency shutoff against you, and I am going to personally take out some very, very serious violations against you. And I already know the board, and I already know you cannot afford that. Now, I am saying to you one more time, yes or no, are you going to put, give them a 24-hour notice? I have already gone to Catherine's boss, and they are already checking you out in Violation. I own that unit. Do you see my face? So Stores and restaurants reserve the right to refuse service to any customer they find rude or disrespectful. This Karen behind the camera makes a fool of herself as the employee blares the megaphone horn right at her, trying to get her to leave. Now, since you're recording, you have it on record that you've been asked. I am recording. And, and you know what else was on record? The telephone call. Because there was there was no reason for you to be there rude the and nasty. Police know That's fine. That if you are asked to leave, That's and fine. we have witnesses, That's you are not welcome on this premise. That's fine. She is calling right now. She can call the police. Yeah. yeah. She can call the police. And, and what's your name, sir? None of your business. Are you a manager here? None of your business. Jesus, can you explain to me why your business hours are posted at one? None of your business. These friends were just filming in the park for a cinematic video when Karen comes over and threatens to call the cops on them for recording in a public area. That sure does make sense, doesn't it? I think not. Okay, but I'm just letting you know, you can't come here tomorrow night because the police will be here and you will be removed from here. And my child will come ride his bike. So what? don't talk to other children. If I want to bring my dogs out here, you can record me all you want. You don't have a permit to be here. We need a permit to record in the middle of nowhere. Oh, you're gonna film it. That's what he's doing to make. Why is it like this? What I understand about Karen's they go out their way. Like, I wasn't affecting your day, I wasn't bothering you. Y'all go out your way to go fuck with somebody. That's dumb. Like, you got look. Anytime a Karen comes up, you have nothing else better to do with your life. That, that's my question. You got nothing else you could be doing than spending 30, 45 minutes calling the police on somebody or wasting somebody's time because you ain't got shit else going on. Like, that's dumb as hell. That shit done to me. Food, if you know, if it make him feel yeah, I don't want your food. Okay, we have plenty of stuff. All right, I'll just call <laughs> Okay, that's cool. This Ken took a bite of his sandwich and demanded a refund afterwards. To top it off, it's the sandwich that he made himself at Subway. The audacity of this guy to blame the employees for the sandwich that he made. So you said I'm not allowed in your yeah, store because yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like this sandwich? Yeah. The bread was not good. No, no, no. We don't refund. Because you ordered. You ordered. You said this bread, this and everything. You guys have bad yeah, customers. You have bad customer service. What's the problem? What's no, the problem? It's it's true. True. What's the problem? It's true. I don't like it. No, no. You don't like it. It's your problem. Not My I'm bread is This nigga is mad because the bread's chewy. What the fuck? Bro, you cannot be serious. This man said the bread's too. I'm gonna report you to Subway. No, no. Just know that, okay? We don't care. I'm gonna report you to Subway. This is this is a disaster. Did you why you come here? We invite you? Because I, 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 <laughs> Do we invite you? This Fitness member was kicked out by the manager who happens to be a Karen that made up her own rules. He's never had a problem until she showed up. Says I have to have a bottle that no, fits. No, because each point of fitness is different, and each point of fitness can come up with their own rules, and that is my general oh, manager. Oh, y'all can just make shit up, huh? You, you have it, you have it nowhere where anyone can see it. It's just an arbitrary rule that you pull out of air that you can't show me in writing. That you don't have posted anywhere in your in your gym. That is correct. So you you just come out with a rule that nobody knows about. Everybody that comes here knows about that rule. Do they? Can I've been here with this bottle. Oh, Had they have a problem? Well, guys, y'all know that we can't have these on the floor. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness. That girl, with this bottle. that girl in the back, know for a fact she full of bullshit. She was like. 
she nah, she didn't say shit. She just looked. She knew. You full of shit, lady. And Miss Ashley does not want to allow me to work out because she says my bottle will not fit into her cup hug. Here's a Walmart Karen throwing Black Lives Matter candles across the store for no reason other than to prove that she's racist. Karen loses it. Throws the hashtag BLM candles. She's saying Black Lives Matter, my pussy matter. I'm in my head. Uh, Karen, Karen, Karen. You dumb as hell. You going to jail. Goof ass. You make no sense. That's why you can't throw that shit. A group of people were just spreading love when Karen felt the need to spread hate against them. Why do people like you have to exist in this world? It's people like you that make the world with a dog you have no accountability i'm getting upset that they got you this lady was crazy she should not be a, you know a person who can see the joy a karen got out of her car to yell at the drive through window and hold up a whole line this guy recording did not hesitate to give her a taste of her own medicine you're holding up the line there karen <laughs> Why is he doing his voice like that? Oh shit, stop that, Karen. I need my food to get more fatter, Karen. Is it just me or does this Karen behind the camera sound like Lois Griffin? Listen for yourself. Laughing at us the entire time that we're up here making a complaint. Isn't this hilarious? The Walmart on 278, Miss Jordan, you're so rude. And it's so funny to you, isn't it? To laugh at a customer and you work in customer service. Okay. Miss Jordan won't have her job. Good luck, man. I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. You better off going to the store off the street. They, they know what they do over here. Yes. He's, hey, sure to do sound like Lois Griffin though. Her voice is like it's, that shit he funny. Didn't pay for this. Well, then that was your neglect to ring it up. Please ring it up. Check the receipt and make sure that she didn't. She said she didn't ring that up. I wonder what this guy saw in this Karen. It seems he's more upset that he won't get custody over the girl that he thought to be his beloved daughter, and the Karen's attitude towards him makes everything in the situation seem worse than it looks on TV. James and his estranged wife Judy got married only uh, two months after they first met. And soon after that, soon after that, Judy got pregnant with their daughter Miracle. Aww. Judy took off with baby Miracle. And today, Judy is now in love with Scarlett. In the case of two-year-old Miracle, James, you are not. Damn. Is there anything more annoying that's, than a kid? That's a fucked up ass feeling, yo, to like raise a child, bro. You be in there every day, they smile and love you, and then that's not your child, bro. Y'all females dirty for that. If you don't, if you think that ain't do look, do a DNA behind his back or something. Like let the nigga know. That shit fucked up. That shit. Real fucked up. Karen that resorts to body shaming. Comparing this Karen to all the other Karens that we have seen and will see on this channel, that question is up for debate. You know what he is? Pee -pee hurt. He's just a little. You little grow up kid. You're a manager. Come on. Okay. He is upset. He won! He won! Go ahead, sell for 
I'm talking to corporate. You're not gonna have your job anymore. What's his name again? Carlos? What's it? Richard. Richard. Let me write that down. Richard. Manager. I have a friend in corporate. I'm gonna call him up and tell him what a little. Karen's always want to make things about themselves and think they're always in the right no matter the problem. This pilot gave her the most clear understanding of the situation and Karen still didn't understand one bit of what he's telling her. So, we're not going to do that. So here's your two options. You can take the head off, like the flight attendant told you to do, which I had told him to tell you, or you'll be off the flight. Okay, can you tell me now, which, tell me now which one it is. Alright, relax sir, you just got here. You, can I respond? Oh. Can you tell me where that's posted? How would I have known that? I'm the captain of the airplane. That's where it's posted. And Delta has guidelines, and I don't have to explain to you. You can take it off, or you can leave the airplane. It is inappropriate, and I'm not going to take vulgar language on the flight. Okay. Verbal or written. Okay. Do you understand? Do you understand the two options? Yeah, I heard you, sir. No, no, do you understand it? I said I heard you. Do you understand it? Y'all hear this? This Karen was denied service at post office for her behavior and failing to provide the right information. She must have really thought her entitlement would get her far. Just step back outside. I'm 18 and I would like to receive yes. my... You're holding up my process. I have to get out of here. I'm not. He is. Yes. He's choosing to you. Ma'am, we, ma we cannot Shut help you. Phone. We cannot help you, I'm not shutting down my phone. Ma'am, we cannot help you. Into this is a private outside. residence and actually I am restricting your recording. And so therefore, you are not allowed to do this. I am actually... This is nobody's residence. It isn't? No, oh, apparently because I had three packages delivered here. Where's your mask? We will help you in just a minute. We just need My mask? I'm not a conformer. Karen's are always hard to try to maintain communication with. This one had the police on speaker and thought she was in the right for her assault on another employee. The police on the phone is listening, which is hilarious. Right now, as a call taker, I know you want to have them on there for your safety purposes. Yes. But right now, you and I need to be talking, not them. Says who? You need to continue having a conversation with me. So, Lady, says, go about your you day. Parents, I don't understand. Go about your business. Mind your business. You wouldn't be having to call the police, do nothing extra, and look stupid on camera, plastered everywhere. If you mind your damn business, you come up and bother somebody just because you're being nosy. Mind your mother fucking business people mind your business keep it pushing she not affecting your money or you keep it pushing she's saying you shoved her and she has witnesses you have witnesses to say that she shoved you she has the manager no no okay there are other employees that were in the fitting i would hope okay other employees well there's also another woman without a mask Ken behind the camera decided to follow around the guy not wearing a mask because he felt offended by his choice. People lack common sense and it really shows. We have a guy who doesn't think he should wear a mask for some reason. My daughter has cancer, but he doesn't give a shit about anybody else because he's more important than everybody. Okay, okay. What does his, your daughter have to do with having cancer have to do with him not wearing a mask? I don't know how the how the hell you made that shit click in your mind to go together but i'm sorry that your daughter has cancer you know what i'm saying that's messed up even though you're a fucking can but, but my thing is what does that have to do with him not wearing a mask he's walking around without a mask i'm just asking for another man to man no mask wearing man to a man wearing a mask. Or, or, yeah, I'm harassing him. They're, he's not wearing a mask. It's hard to tell which one here is the Ken. There's like at least three candidates here. You decide and discuss in the comments. I am going to get to the bottom of this and resolve the issue for you and your family. I want you to be the happiest you can so you hear. You say you're going to see what I'm going to do. Yes. I'm leaving to go do that because I want your family to be happy. Okay, so then you don't have here. to act that strange with me when I'm asking you to leave this till you resolve it. And I'm saying again, I'm not okay. acting strange with you. Once you said this wasn't yours and this garbage. I know, but I just wanted you to leave it here till you resolve it, right? And then take the garbage. So then I work for you is what I'm no. saying. I, I work for the hotel. You said this I is garbage you. and it's not yours. I know, but there's a lot of garbage here, out. sir. If you take all the garbage, I'm going to be okay with it. I feel extremely bad for the sweetest people that have to deal with the rudest Karens. I hope he gets a raise. Well, my dirty ass look. 
Are you serious right now? Who are you? Who are you? I didn't give you a dirty look. Yeah, you did. No, well, I didn't. You're talking to somebody that's like a manager. Well, we can Someone's kick you like out. a manager. And, we can kick you out. So and you can kick me out for what? You can kick me out for what? Have a good day and get out you of the lobby. You can kick me out for what? Because I'm recording all of this. All of this is being recorded. I don't even, you gave me a dirty ass look. He having a bad, surely having a bad day. Somebody pissed in her cereal. I, I'll be skinny. I can be skinny. I came in here and asked you for the office number, and that's all I did, and everything has been recorded. You don't even touch me. And I'm pregnant, so I dare you to touch me. I'm pregnant, so I dare you to touch me. Call them. I want you to. Karen's love to resort to calling the cops over the smallest of problems, like this one, for example. She Don't called the police in the drive-thru. I want you to call the police. No, the cops will be here in a minute. You're f***ing rude. You're f***ing rude. You're calling the, you calling the police because she rude through the drive-thru? Wow. See, look. Hey, look. I feel like you should never be rude to somebody that fucks with your food. That is always... Look. Be nice to those people. Because, especially at a restaurant. They can do whatever they want to your food and you probably ain't gonna know. They spitting your shit, literally digging their nose, they ass, wipe it all over your food and shit. Y'all need to think about that before y'all going around talking shit to people that fuck with your food. Excuse me, are you the manager? You <laughs> the manager just looking? <laughs> Look, the manager like, yeah, I'm not going. I'm not answering. Our food, you know, you our food is cold, and this is the behavior that we are getting from the employees. My nuggets were cold. Look, she's smiling. That this is fucking hilarious. You gonna hold up the job? For until I get my money back. This elderly Karen claims to own public property, threatens to sue these guys for their existence, then damages some of their own items. If it's a lawsuit Karen wants, she surely will get one for what she did. Oh, this, oh, this is your property. It's his, your name is a, your name. She owns this property. She owns all this property. She, you own all this property. Do you? But no. us being here okay, okay, so why, okay, why are you coming up to us? We're yeah, not, people we're love doing fuck with people. I'm not, I'm not trying to intimidate you. We're not bothering anybody. I'm not bothering anybody. I would advise you to get the heck out of here. We're going to get out of here. We're not bothering anybody. You're, you're coming up to us. And you're okay. It's a yeah. Sunday. How have a great day. Oh, you're shit. Doing? Well, stop it. You're coming up to us. And you're okay. It's a Sunday. Have a great day. Oh, day. shit. Well, stay, stay. You, you are. Wow, she really just knocked their food and shit over. That's fucked up, Karen. But all right, man. Tell me what y'all think about this, man. These Karens got to be stopped. They must be stopped. But let me know what y'all think about these Karens in the comment section. Have y'all ever experienced a Karen for y'all sales? I, I want to know about that. I've never had one. If I did, I probably didn't care enough to even remember. But let me know what y'all think about this video down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. On cheese!